Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R540 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on how to rack your R540. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R540 server. Do us a favor, find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, this is going to be a uh, relatively simple video. Uh, we are going to put our R540 into the rack. So we're going to show you exactly how to do that. Uh, what we're going to be using is sliding rails. Uh, technically, there's some static rails out there, which um, I don't recommend because they actually uh, sometimes are a little bit more expensive. Uh, and the sliding rails are just a heck of a lot easier to work on. Uh, so that's definitely what I recommend, and that's what we're going to use right now. So let's show you how to put it in. All right, so now we're going to put our server into the rack. So first things first, you want to grab uh, your, both your rails. This one is left, so just make sure the left is facing up and you're on the left side. I like to do this with two people. It just makes it a little bit easier. So one of our techs, Angel, is in the back. is going to help us. So Angel, I'm going to hand this to you. Let's do 14 and 15. Okay, so now that he's got his in, there's two pegs right here that essentially I'm just going to line up to the rack and I'm perfectly lined with the 14, 15, so everything is equal all the way across. And we're just gonna simply push them in. And when I push them in, this little blue clip kind of opens a little bit. I mean, it didn't come up much, but enough that the hooks that are inside have now latched on, and you can see that this is firmly into place. So if I wanted to actually remove this, what I would do is this blue clip, you would just pull this out, and then now the uh, the, ra the rails will come off the rack, okay? So now I'm gonna put them back in just to show you. You just wanna put the two pegs in, push it in, and it's now firmly locked into place. So we'll do the right rail next. All right, so we're doing the right rail now. So you'll see it says right, and you want the right facing up. So we are gonna face it like this. So Angel, we're gonna do 14, 15 again. Go ahead and line yours up first. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take these two pegs again, and we're gonna put them into 14 and 15, line them up perfectly, and just push it into play. So it's really just that simple. So now we're going to show you actually how to put your server into the rails. So one of the things I wanted to point out real quick before we actually put the server into the rack are the inner rails. So the inner rails, when you slide these out, you'll notice a couple of things here. So most importantly, right here, if I were to try to push this back in, the rails are completely locked into place, okay? So you need to make sure you push this down and now your inner rail will slide in. And the same thing, if I try to push this back, it's still locked into place because this inner rail isn't all the way in. So we need to make sure this goes all the way in and then now this will actually fully slide all the way back. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it in. All right, so what we're gonna to wanna to do now is slide out our inner rail. So we're just gonna pull these all the way out. And again, it's gonna click into place and lock. So now we're gonna take this one and slide it all the way out. And it's gonna click into place and lock. And you'll notice on the rails, there are these notches that are carved out. Um, Angel, if you could bring the server up. So if you look at the server itself, there are some rivets on the side. Angel, will you point to some of those rivets for me? So those rivets will let you know exactly how to line this up. So what I like to do is take the back ones and put them in first. Okay, you locked in on that. All right, and then we're just gonna simply slide this down and line everything up as we go just to make sure that they get in. So all of yours in. So now you can see nobody's holding it. It's firmly into the rack. Um, the rails are even still sticking out. Now again, as we talked about, we have to push these buttons on the side. If we try to push this in, it is completely locked into place like this. So go ahead and push your side, Angel. So we just push these down and it slides right back into place and you can put this into your rack. So that's how you rack your R540 server. Appreciate you guys stopping by. If you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you need any custom built Dell, HPE, Super Micro, IBM, Cisco, or even just uh, you, you want some AMD Ryzen's or AMD Epics or Intel Scalables, we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by.